Hello, welcome back to Access Granted. My name is Dave and I am joined today Hello. by Rob. Mm -hmm. um, Hi. Rob is here, just yeah. like normal. Yeah. How have you been, Rob? You alright? Yeah, fine, I'm good. There's um, something different about you. You've trimmed well, I made, your beard. I've trimmed my beard. I made a little effort this morning because I knew that I was going to be coming on Access Granted, so I thought to myself, you know. Right, try a this, is, this is because why. Usually, I just come on and I just think, you know, whatever. This, this is, is what's really possible mad. if if you have a couple of if yeah. you have twenty minutes in the if morning. If I wash my hair, see, I'm not really bald. Right. I just don't <laughs> wash it very much, and the moment you do wash it, it kind of goes all poofy. I gotta be like honest, it, you've done an amazing job. You look, Thanks, fan, you look fabulous. Cheers. Um, you know, I we said I said to some people that you might be making an effort this week, mm. and we had a, t a comment from uh, a Hislop who says, "I'm glad that if Rob shows up." He'll be in some sort of clothing. After all, he does seem to find all sorts of reasons to lose his pants in the Friday features. So uh, pants you are wearing pants features. today. I am wearing you just pants. also happen to be wearing a, a dress. Some, some tights. tights. I can't get my leg up that high. But yeah, yeah. I am, uh, no comment. Dress. I think I look all right. I think you look fantastic. Good. Thank we you. We should explain that you actually had a little help this morning. I did with your makeup. I did indeed. And for a reason. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a video. We have a look. Roll VT. So you've found me on the sofa with the fabulous Miss Kitty Powers. Hello, Kitty. How are you? Hello, kitten. I'm fabulous. Uh, <laughs> your game, Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Yes. On PS4 now. It is out now on PlayStation 4. And to celebrate, you are going to be making me up, hopefully, to look as fabulous as you. Well, we can try our best. You could have trimmed your beard for me, darling. I but could, but I like my beard. We can cope. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> This is your time for your big reveal. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, oh. one. Oh! <laughs> oh, I look fabulous. Look at that. Look at that. Rob, do you know look that you've affected a voice? Eyebrows. Look at my eyebrows, David. <laughs> what do you think? What's your professional opinion? Well, I think it's a marvellous makeup job. Mm. I don't know who did it. It's oh. amazing. <laughs> All came together marvellously. You're yeah. fabulous. Right, so you were with Miss Kitty Powers. Yes, Miss Kitty Powers. Because fabulous lady, and she and game me, developer and game developer of Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Yeah, um, which we have played, and we've got a video coming up quite soon. Yes. Um, so you're going to play Miss Kitty Powers Matchmaker with, with Miss Kitty Powers. With Miss Kitty Powers, yeah. But the sad thing is, Rob doesn't have a, a drag name. No. You're just ro it's really just, confusing. It's yeah. confusing for I me. I mean, Kitty was calling me Roberta, but that's kind of like a placeholder name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That doesn't work. So we had the fantastic idea that for this week's 301 Club, you can name Drag Rob. Yes. And we were with there. At, and more amazing than that, there are prizes this week. There's amazing actual prizes, prizes that Holly prizes. is going to provide someone with. So stay tuned because when we get to the 301 Club, we will talk about that properly. But now, mm -hmm. let's get on with the show. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, it's time for comments, comments of the week. week. So comments of the week, Rob. Yes. Uh, this is actually comments of two weeks now because people, I don't know if you heard, Nath dropped this bomb really? on Access Granted what did he say? that we were thinking about maybe, t you know, making you fit and looking like Kratos. Yes. And making some videos about that. That would be an altogether different transformation, wouldn't it? You've gone wouldn't quite it? the other way yeah, today. today. Other way. Um, but And people people like this. I don't know if you've heard. People were up for I this. I have heard. I mean, I'm up for it. I would love to be really 
fit and in shape. That'd be great. Sounds great. Uh, on that on that matter, Rorius has written, I'm just imagining an alternate reality in which the God of War games featured a Kratos voiced by Rob. Imagine Kratos with the with Rob's normal voice. I would love that. Can you do any um, Kratos lines? Ares, destroy my enemies and my life is yours. It doesn't help that you're in drag. I think you're, you're struggling to channel your true, <laughs> true, true Rob voice. Manly anger, yeah. And uh, Jonas Elixia says, regarding the Rob for Kratos, I think it would be easier to reverse it and ask Santa Monica to make Kratos like Rob. I think I would play that game. That's a great idea. Just a Kratos, a separate skin, like a, a DLC skin. Yeah. That would be a brilliant. That is a brilliant kind idea, of isn't like it? Like lumbering, slightly overweight, fast food belly, wears glasses, wears glasses, balding. I'd love that. I imagine that reveal, the reveal that was at E3 <laughs> of him in the in the <laughs> in the light cabin in the dark, and it comes out. Imagine the applause at that. Ah, oh, that would be people just going, "Oh God!" What is he saying? Like, I am hungry or something. Yeah. I am hungry. McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> that's my uh, that's my place of choice. Uh, let's I, continue. Yes, let's continue. Uh, so last week, Ro uh, Nathan and I played Adventure Pop for mm -hmm. uh, for our one on onesie. I lost. Come on, go the onesie! And we drew some comparisons to Beehive Bedlam. Do you do you remember Beehive Bedlam? No. Did you ever play Beehive I Bedlam? I think I did. No. It was on Sky Sky Interactive. It was a game that you could play on Sky Interactive. Really? Yeah. I've no knowledge don't of know this. About this. No knowledge of it whatsoever. Well, uh, a few people did, including uh, Carbon Monoxide, who says my gran was Good a beast name. at Beehive Bedlam despite her arthritis, which wow. I, I really liked. I like that she That's cracked impressive. on. It, it, um, actually, my dad used to love it, and you'd be upstairs and you'd hear just suddenly the Beehive Bedlam music would come on. <laughs> It'd come down. If you don't know it, you check out no. last week's Access Grind. It sounds it's like I've missed something quite fantastic. Quite similar to yeah. uh, Adventure Pop. You use the, the left and right arrows to like right. aim, and then you'd fire like bubbles. I don't know. But I don't know why it was Beehive thing themed, but there you go. Someone has been asking about games. Uh, Chib -zing. You should really find out how to pronounce these before you come on, though. because <laughs> no, I just edit it so it looks like I've done it right first time. Chib Zinjune says, Rob has Metal Gear Solid, Nathan has The Witcher 3, what does Holly and Dave have? I'm curious to find out what games they can drive Rob and Nathan, and maybe Holly, nuts with lol. And I'm thought, I thought it was surprising because Everybody knows that Holly is obsessed with Mass, Mass Effect. Effect. Yeah. Mass Effect. She is nuts for Mass Effect. Yeah. I mean, she's also nuts for Final Fantasy. She's also nuts for Final Fantasy. Which and, says so am I. And lot actually, lot as games go, Holly gets really into lots of them. Destiny. She got really into mm -hmm. uh, lots of JRPGs. Nino Cooney. Um, so Final Fantasy and Mass Effect are definitely Holly's they're her two ones. main ones. But what about you, Dave? This is the thing. It got me thinking. I don't think I'm really, really into anything. Like I like lots of things. I'm not like really obsessed with no. any one thing. No. And is that okay, viewers? That's what I'm worried. So. It made me think, is that okay? I don't think so. You need to have a passion, Dave. You need I'm to have passionate a about passion. Star Wars. What? You uh, are, but... Not so much the games. Yeah. You need... It's not enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Film-wise, I, you know, I'm mad about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And I'm mad about Lord of the Rings, like I'm mad about Final Fantasy and Metal Gear. So you need to find a game series that you're about a lot of passionate these, about as Star Wars. The thing about a lot of these game series that they began long ago. Yeah. You know, like you've been into Final Fantasy since what, Final Fantasy VII? Lol. Yes. Or, that was the you first know, that was the I first played, one yeah. you played, and that was obviously years and years ago. And Holly, I'm sure, was into Final Fantasy for the same reasons. Mass Effect, I played the first and second and third Mass Effect, and I really like them, but I'm not as into them as she is. I don't know. Help me viewers, what's wrong with me? What series could I really get into? Um, I need some advice because I mean, I'm kind Metal of worried. Gear. I'm worried that it's not normal. You should get some Metal Gear in you, Dave. I really like Metal Gear 5 and I finished Metal Gear 2, but I can't remember Just it. It was play really Metal long Gear ago. 1. Should I play yeah. it on oh. Vita? No, play it on PS3. Okay. It's on uh, PS1 Classics. Okay. Get it done. All right, let's see what we can do. Last week also we announced um, Axis tournaments. You know our yeah, lovely Axis cool. bags, we showed yours off. So uh, we now have tournaments available for you to get involved in um, through your PS4. If you go into the events tab and down to tournaments, you will see them there if you're in the EU, I think. Sorry, other 
areas of the world. Um, you can sign up and register to play certain games. The tournament's all set up. If you win, you win an access rucksack, a North Face bag, are great, yeah. which I am using mine like all the time now, as much as you can use a bag. I mean, mine's it's, become just my bag. It's really, yeah, that's what I guess that's what I mean. Mine's just become my bag too, which is, it's not weird, is it? It's not weird for us to no. wear access bags. No, I mean, they're not like obnoxiously, obviously access bags. They're just like nice North Face bags with some with the access logo embroidered in. Exactly, really it's very, classy. very classy. Nice. Um, so if you're interested in that, then do get on your PS4, get on the events tab, and check it out. All the details are there. Uh, Jonathan Kreitler says, "Do I need a onesie for the access tournament?" To which the access, uh, the access, the answer is no. But it, you know, it might that would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? I think. What, giving them, giving them away to the losers? Yeah, that would have been funny. Every loser in the tournament has to wear the onesie of shame. Definitely don't wear the onesie if you want a chance of winning, because it's traditionally awarded to, to the loser. Yeah, but so no, loser's not necessary. Gone. So do check out those tournaments uh, on the events tab on your PS4 if you're in the U EU, and hopefully, maybe in the future, we can take them worldwide. Yeah. That'd be good, and you can win a bag. Uh, lastly, Rob, last week um, Nathan and I were talking about how you and Holly weren't in the country, you were in Sweden, and yes. we couldn't say why, but now we can, we say, can why. say why. can say why now. You've gone there to see quite a few games from Bandai Namco. That's right. Uh, and for some reason they were all in Sweden, those games. Partly because one of the games you were seeing was Project Cars 2. Yep. And what did you get up to well, in we were, Sweden? We were allowed to drive a Mercedes round a frozen lake really really fast and we got taught how to drift around corners and like screeching around this lake oh it was amazing i don't want to hear about this i, mean, we I hate hearing loads but you know i love so driving fast cars around but the cool things. thing is we got to play in project cars 2 the exact track that we driven around in real life is in the game yeah so we got to compare what it's like to drive in real life with what it's like to drive in the game. It's funny really you say that, Rob, because I've got a, I've got a, uh, a comment here mm -hmm. from the Project Cars video from Jack, right? Who says what you might have expected to read? What a rubbish driver! Next time, pick someone who knows how to drive. It will make the video more interesting. Mm, is that right? And I wondered if you wanted to address that comment. Yeah. Well, uh, the person doing our capture is uh, Nick Hamilton. Nick Hamilton. Nick oh, Hamilton. Nick yeah. Hamilton. He's a professional racing driver, and That's right. uh, he's a consultant on Project Cars too. So he's really good at the game. He, he knows what he's doing. Good. Yeah. If it had he been might your have heard, captain, he, yeah, he'd he be might right. have heard of his brother as well. I think he's won a couple of, maybe three, Formula One world, oh, world, world championships. So yeah, no biggie. No biggie. No, no biggie. biggie. But thanks for your comment, Jack. So anyway. I was lucky enough to edit your vlog from Sweden, lucky where I got you. to watch you having lots of fun in cars. Let's roll VT. Well, it's adventure time again. Uh, my suitcase is packed. I just got back from Amsterdam with Dave where we saw Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, but this time I'm about to leave my house and go to Heathrow Airport because me and Rob are going away and we've been told it's going to be very cold and to bring our driving licenses. Um, for someone who doesn't like flying, this is pretty terrifying. Rob, you look really, really ready. <laughs> I'm ready for my icy adventure. Hey, we landed. It wasn't that scary. This place already looks so beautiful. So here we are in Arvijar. That was really good, Rob. And uh, there are some really fast cars there that I think we're going to get to drive. Look at that, that's a frozen lake. Right, let's try and get down this slope. Oh, don't now. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in jeans and it's just, I should have bought salad pets. I knew better than this, Rob. These are the cars we're going to be driving in. Actual cars with special tyres that don't slip about on the snow. Well, I am probably going to put that to the test. Let's have a little look inside. I mean, they're leaving the engines running. Maybe to keep, nice to keep them warm, yeah. Oh, no, Holly. The, the, they're the wrong side. <gasps> I passed my test in September. I've only been driving like five months. Look at the gear stick. What is that? The final will and testament. Oh, shut up! We're going to be fine. The ice won't break. <laughs> Holly, there's the stick. We're driving next to the stick. The stick's not even driving. No, the stick's... But imagine being the person who has to be, like, driving the stick. It'd be like playing uh, Skyrim with me watching you. That was As awful, Nathan by the way. <laughs> you were awful to him. He deserved it. Drive. We are... Drive. Parking. Oh my god, I've never driven more than that. Is that all the instruction we're getting? 
drive reverse park. I just want to go fast. No, Holly. I just want to go fast. Keep it at this speed. Fine, Rob. I have a clean license. So do I. Maybe you've been driving for three months. You should have a clean license. We're driving faster now. Oh my god. Oh, come on! I, t I totally saved that. <laughs> that was so cool. I decided that um, drifting in real cars might not be for me. Oh my god, no, it is for you. You're gonna love this when we swap. Are we actually swapping? Yeah. That was just ridiculous. I, I, I even I spam the car and I think Rob pooed himself a little bit, and it was the best feeling ever. I did crash. Really? It's my fault. I put the Final Fantasy 15 soundtrack on and Rob got really excited. I did. of driving has it's turned into a good. maniac. That was great. And it turns out he's also really good. That was brilliant. Did some drifts like in a real I think I might actually be better at driving a real car around a track than I am. <laughs> driving video, games. Games. video game cars. I'm terrible at driving in video games. Well, people that was way better. I guess people can find out later on, can't they? No, oh, yeah, they will. I'll be awful at Project Cars too. Absolutely awful. They've got the skills to know when it's time to watch our next video. Ones we love, 301 Club. Better than the comments above, 301. Right, 301 Club. Uh, so last week, I think slightly in preparation for you coming on uh, in costume, mm -hmm. we were we asked people to uh, talk about cosplay, who they would like to cosplay. I yes. thought afterwards it would be a good idea to have asked who we should cosplay as. Mm. Um, and funnily enough, James Bunt just took it upon himself to do that anyway. So right. he says, please can you guys go to an event in the following cosplay? Holly, Aloy. Rob, Makes sense. Kratos. Obviously. Nath, Nathan Drake. And Dave, I think this is my fault because I think I've said this before. Any ideas? Um, no, actually. Who are Dave, you? Buzz. Yeah, you do look like Buzz the Quizmaster. He's like a deformed human, like hot, weird proportions <laughs> it's just man. just he's got the kind of blondish hair and, and the glasses, isn't it? I guess that's right. He also says Delsin. I love that he's put Delsin in. Mm -hmm. Parappa or Sly Cooper? Question mark. And then we should <laughs> both good ideas. An it would an be animal, so perfect. Though as an animal. That is a good shout. Um, a few um, just runners up before the actual entries. So the Mighty Bubes, I like this. He said, I'd cosplay as Delsin Roden. I already have a Delsin Row costume and a Badger mask. So that's your game You've sorted. You've done it, that's done. This year. That's basically all he is. On to the actual entries. Uh, so there were three. As right. tradition dictates, Rob will choose the winner. Good. First of all, Zachary Sharmi, who says, 301 Club, I would co cosplay as Bellathor from Skyrim and walk around buying anything people would sell me in exchange for Skyrim-styled coins which would be quite That's nice a good at a convention. That would be yeah. good at a convention. Although you'd probably need loads of coins. You would. Which would be you would. tedious. Shalashka says, 301 Club, if I were to cosplay as anyone, it would be Kaz Miller. I would walk around Comic-Con all day moaning and playing everyone like damn fiddles. Nice. Uh, and lastly, Art House 85 says, 301 Club, I would have to go uh, for Geralt from The Witcher to make amends for my questionable relationship choices in the game that my real wife hasn't wasn't best pleased by, <laughs> which just raises so many questions that I had to put that one in. 
So, uh, which one are you going for? Geralt, Kaz, or Belithor? Kaz, gotta be Kaz. How did I know you go Kaz? Good old Metal Gear. Good old Metal Gear. Yeah. Never fails to win a 301 yeah. club when Rob's on. That's right. Very smart. So, Shalashka, congratulations. congratulations. You are this week. You sure it's not Shalashaska, Dave? Yeah, it's definitely Shalashaska, like like you said. Yeah. So Revolver Ocelot. Yeah. That's Revolver Ocelot's name. Yeah, no, but if you're really into Metal Gear, you just call it Shalashka. Just real quick, you just shorten it down. <laughs> right. I thought okay. you'd know that. I'm not into it enough, apparently. <laughs> no. Have you even heard, ever heard of no. the snake and the <laughs> large boss? Uh, right, now we said this week we were going to do a competition. So to celebrate yep. Rob being in drag, to celebrate the release of uh, Kissy Power's matchmaker game on yes. PS4, you were in drag, and we've teamed up with Kissy Powers yes. to some... make the 301 Club this week a competition. Yes. So we want to know next week what Rob's drag name should be. Take a You've good to look at him good or her. Name. I would love it if it's like a. I'll get into character now. If it's like a, a nice pun, maybe a Final Fantasy pun. That's fine. Right. We were going to say extra points for puns. Yeah. Extra extra points if it's a Final Fantasy and pun. The best one wins. We've got some Kitty Powers swag. We've we got have a, a signed poster. A poster signed by Kitty Powers and herself. We've got some and badges. Some cool badges in yeah, there as a well. Transfer. There's also two. We've got his and her. His and Kitty hers. Powers matchmaker T-shirts as well. Trust and me, they're in there. Lastly, stay there. Oh, I will. Okay. Show off See, the t-shirt. Like this. There's the t-shirt. There's one. Here's another one. And previously only available to tournament winners, we also have an access bag. This is my access bag, so not this one. You've not even taken the label. No, off, I know Dave. I haven't. I know. It's These I are really I nice. Have any it's North Face. It's got the access logo on it. Lovely. This one's got stuff in it which is my stuff, which yours won't have, but it will look like this, just thinner and newer. So that is very, very exciting. So a good reason to get into the 301 Club this week, and we're gonna change the rules because it is a competition. We want it to be open to everyone. Yep. You don't have to be one of the first 301 viewers. No. Anyone can answer that can enter this week. We just want a good drag name, don't we? We just want a good drag name, and the best drag name will win. Yes. So get in, get thinking, get involved, and uh, yeah, we will reveal the winner next week. So all that's left to talk about this week, Rob, is what's coming out this week, coming up this week. Yes. Um, you're going to be playing Miss Kitty Powers matchmaker with, with Miss Kitty, Kitty Powers. Powers, yes, while in drag. While in drag. Um, so that is... That's a video to look forward that's to. That's a video Believe you, me. you won't want to miss. No. Um, it's also Valentine's Day. Happy isn't Valentine's it? Day, everyone. That's just like your warning. Everyone yeah. needs a Valentine's Day Coming. warning. Yeah. Uh, I'm going on a couple of trips that I'm not sure I can mention to play so some many games. So exciting secrets coming up, aren't I know. There? This, it's difficult when we're not sure if we're allowed to talk about things. But uh, also, Nath is doing something, I think. Is he? There's lots of stuff. Nath is doing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's the store video, that's it. It's doing the store video. Uh, That'll so be a Friday feature. Nath will be here or something, and there's going to be lots of fun. It's going to be a good week. Yeah. I can't think of anything right now. You've put me under pressure, and I'm sorry. I wasn't It'll be a Friday feature where be a Friday I'll be feature. dressed normally. Right, yeah. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll... Oh, I can't do this myself, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we can't bring Kitty Powers in every time I want to... That's true. Yeah. You don't have that much time either, do you? No. You're very disorganised. No. And Rob likes to get out of bed and, and go. Yep. Uh, anyway. Thank you very much for watching this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Do remember that we're after Rob's drag name and for next week's 301 Club. Anyone can enter. You don't have to be the first to see the video. And the best name, hopefully a pun, hopefully a Final Fantasy pun, mm -hmm. will win uh, all that Miss Kitty Powers all those cool goodies, goodies that we just and showed you. An access bag that access. previously only available to tournament winners. So that's very, very cool. Do get writing to let us know. Thank you very much for watching again this week. Thank you for all your comments. They're what makes this show possible. Yes. And uh, we will see you next time.